That's right. Dabba Dabba Page here. The coach and the Florida heavyweight champions, the bounty hunters, along with their manager, the Reverend Billy Hallelujah. Stewart. Hallelujah. You know, Diamond Dallas, finding quality wrestlers. Be still, my children. Finding wrestlers that are any competition in this league for these two young men right here is like trying to ride up and down I-95 and hitting the factory outlet stores and finding clothing without polyester. I thought you'd be able to relate to that one, Coach. Sending Tyree and Brickhouse in against these guys in the Bahamas is actually about as stupid as letting Bugsy McGraw operate heavy equipment. You know, it kind of boggles my mind to think that guys like Tyree and Brickhouse are the end product of two million years of human evolution, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Fellas, let's get to the ring and make short work out of these bozos. Hallelujah. Go on there. Are you done? Thank you. Man, why do we have to give him his little segments up here? What is that, coach? Is it his contract or something? I don't know. Why can't know. we give him his own set, building around a little cage, a little rubber room for him to just bounce off the walls? You know, really, the Reverend is a very articulate and intelligent man, as far as one of the most intelligent men geniuses ever to handle well than a supremacist in the world of professional wrestling. However, his moves and his attitudes seem to be very mechanical. <laughs> yeah, right. Too bad all his gears are stripped, coach. Oh, Give me a break, man. Mechanical, this guy? He's mechanical, all right. Like a bad wind-up Barbie doll. Tremendous physique, however, on the present Florida heavyweight wrestling champion. Working under a mask like that has, you know, it's a two-way two street, really. Uh, first of all, you cannot see the expression of pain or fear or whatever it is. Oh, oh my man. God! He decapitated him there, coach. Yeah, getting back to your thing about the mask there, coach. Oh! Obvious joke there. I want to get back to my comments there about the referee. This referee is not on top of everything that's happened. I'm missing Mickey Mouse, man. I hope he's all right at the uh, uh, Disney World. That was at Epcot Center uh, uh, Hospital there. Taking over Mickey and Mickey's... Not, uh, not, no, not really. Not really. I, I, I wouldn't kid about Mickey Mouse. He's obviously hurt. He's a serious concussion there sure. by that... Oh, God! By Slinker whacking him with a chair. Finally, the commissioner, Waldo Coulter, coming to some sort of, uh, you know, keen eye for the obvious by himself there. Oh! I thought he uh, held himself up very well. I thought his statement that he made brought everything right to the it's point. About time! Uh, uh, Only because of my, me, that's right, me, getting down on him and being the voice for the people there. Oh, God. Right now, the Florida Tag Team Champions are merely toying with their opponents. I believe that is Thunderbolt Thayer in there with Mr. X. I said before, the advantages of a mask are sometimes overweighed by the fact that it's very hard to breathe there, very hard to see. However, they've... They're good enough to be Florida Heavyweight champ, Tag Team Champion. And in comes uh, another mask. Uh, I'm opponent. glad you mentioned that. We got a lot of masks out there. And I can only wonder, Coach, you know, why are they really wearing a mask? They must be trying to hide something. Criminals of some sort. Convicts. I would doubt that very much. As I said before, a lot of times, uh, you know, you don't want to show your opponent that you're maybe running out of gas or you've had some pain or expression of that type. You, that, you know, the mask hides that factor very easily. But again, as I said before, there's a handicap of finding it hard to breathe and hard to see. And here, in an Ajax lift, oh, uh, back power up. I'm telling you, those two bounty hunters are looking more impressive every day I see them there. And I don't give the credit. Oh, oh. my God! That's all she wrote there, baby! Very powerful drop there. A tough opponent. I gotta admit, they are looking more and more impressive each week here, Coach. How long they're gonna hold on that tag title? Uh, it might be quite a while, Dallas. Unbelievable show of strength there by the Bounty Hunter right there. Setting Bounty Hunter 1 to Bounty Hunter 2. Un, dos, tres. That's all she wrote, baby. Look at that. Tell stories and traps on that floor there. Wow. Back after these images. Oh, as they've ever looked, baby. Tonight in Nassau. Don't miss it. Don't miss it right here tonight in Nassau. As a matter of fact, wait a minute. We got him right. The bounty hunters are calling him out right now to the ring. No, bad man. They're in Nassau, man. In Nassau. What do they want? Right here, man. I think we had just enough on the line. They're going at him. They're going at him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They didn't think they'd take it. The bounty hunters are running out of it. Wait a minute. I thought. 
you guys wanted a piece of them. If they want a piece of us, they gotta come to the Bahamas and get these belts. I the contract in the Bahamas. I thought you guys just wanted them right there. Well, apparently, a little uh, smart move by the bounty hunters. What's there. the matter with the bounty hunters, coach? What's the matter with the bounty hunters, Simon? I don't know, but they look scared brother. to me. They look scared. What about a Tampa? The bottom line is, baby, the spiritual advisor was not around. Come down to Nassau. That's right, tonight, be there. All right, let's head up to the ring right now. There goes the Nasty Boys, baby. Tonight, you don't want to miss them. It has to be the Nasty Boys. Two of the finest gentlemen that ever stepped foot. <laughs>